on view at the Washington Street Art Gallery at 321 Washington Street from November 9th through the 30th is The Art Outlet, Affordable Art for Everyone. It's a group exhibition curated by Maggie Cedarstrom with an opening reception Friday, November 8th from 6 to 9 p.m. The Art Outlet is a group exhibition showcasing local artists at affordable prices. This salon style show will feature handmade objects and art pieces by painters, photographers, sculptors, and more looking to move their inventory, as well as pieces created with more affordable materials. Come and peruse for your holiday gifts, begin an art collection with some starter art for your home, or just enjoy a peek into an artist's earlier or more experimental work. Washington Street artists, as well as other regional artists, will be represented. Gallery hours for this show will be in the style of a trunk show. Artists will have cash boxes or Venmo information available for carry-out art purchases. You can bring home your art the day you view it. Details are at WashingtonST.org. Crossing the Line in Search of Sanctuary is the fifth in a series of annual programs focused on social justice issues presented by the Nave Gallery in partnership with the Clarendon Hill Presbyterian Church. In addition to the gallery show at the Nave Gallery in Teal Square, which is on view from November 1st through December 15th, Clarendon Hill Church will present Learn to Talk, a program highlighting issues related to immigration and social justice. Additionally, there will be a special exhibition, Art in Exile, Works from Syrian Refugee Camps in the Church Sanctuary. The global refugee crisis today is the greatest since the end of World War II. There are nearly 68.5 million people who are forcefully displaced from their homes and cultures by war, repression, famine, and natural disaster. Crossing the Line in Search of Sanctuary, curated by Gabriel Sosa, aims to share different artistic impressions on current immigration and refugee issues, personal, political, and philosophical. Ranging from photographs of local first-generation communities to works on canvas created in Syrian refugee camps, the exhibition reminds us of the differences that bring us together. Gallery hours and full programming details are at navegallery.org. As their event season comes to a close, the Somerville Arts Council goes on one last adventure. Puppet Palooza 2019 Tales from Around the World, which includes the brothers Kampur, as they present an evening of Indonesian Shadow Puppet Theater on Thursday, November 7th at 6.30 p.m. at Conexion on 149 Broadway. Wayang Kulit is a form of traditional shadow puppetry from Bali that brings together elements from all the island's rich cultural traditions, mythology, music, visual arts, and comedy. Since 2012, the founding members of the Brothers Kampur, puppeteer Putu Rakayasa, theater artist Sam J. Gold, ethnomusicologist Ian Koss, and art scholar Panji Willimantara have presented this dynamic and inter interdisciplinary art form to audiences in both Indonesia and the United States. As in a typical Wayang performance in Bali, the brothers Kampur aim to inform, inspire, and entertain all at once, mixing sacred with silly, love scenes with slapstick, and tradition with innovation. It's recommended for ages four and up. For this and other pu puppet palooza performances, such as Leopard Learns a Lesson on November 13th and An Arabian Adventure by the Tanglewood Marionettes on November 20th, you should visit SomervilleArtsCouncil.org. On Sunday, November 10th, from 1 to 4 p.m., attend Project 852, What is Happening in Hong Kong, a lecture on the Hong Kong movement that includes a slide presentation that will have photos, videos, and art pertaining to the recent events in Hong Kong to bring awareness to the Somerville community. This event is free and open to the public and is hosted by the Hong Kong Social Action Movements in Boston, which is a local, non-governmental, and non-profit organization founded by a group of American Hong Kongers. Also at the Central Library, attend a Magic the Gathering tournament on Saturday, November 23rd from 12.30 to 4. Magic the Gathering is a strategy trading card game. Prizes at the event will include single Magic the Gathering cards, gift cards, and card game accessories. A donation to Oxfam International is suggested, but anyone can play or participate. You can find more information about both these events, as well as a full library event calendar, at SomervillePublicLibrary.org. The Somerville Community Growing Center and the Somerville Garden Club present the Somerville Community Greening Celebration on Sunday, November 10th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Somerville Museum at 1 Westwood Road. 
Somerville Garden Club and the Growing Center invite you to join them as they celebrate their 25th anniversaries. And they're doing this with the theme of community greening at the Somerville Museum. Learn more about the great work that each organization does. Enjoy live music, food, drink, and a raffle. Suggest a donation of $10. Laughing Liberally Boston is Boston's first and only progressive political stand-up comedy show featuring an exciting array of the city's more progressive and diverse comedic voices. Laughing Liberally Boston showcases a different lineup of comedians ranging from those newer in the comedy world to more established headliner comics and features a special interview segment with a person who is working toward the betterment of their community. Upcoming shows are November 9th and December 14th at the Center for the Arts at the Armory, both at 8 p.m. And Laughing Liberally Boston is the local chapter of Laughing Liberally, a national organization of progressive comedians who use humor and laughter to spread understanding of their ideas and advance progressive values. For more information about this show and upcoming shows, you should visit their Facebook page. Find out all about what MTV News once called one of the weirdest things you will ever pay to see at Kaiju Big Battle at 1 Somerville on Sunday, November 10th from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Currently, the Kaiju universe maintains an active roster of approximately 30 monsters, including a blue alien glutton named Sky Debler, a factory worker turned soup can called Kung Fu Chicken Noodle, a dirty hair sage dubbed Dusto Bunny, Uchu Chu, the space bug, which is self-explanatory, and a despicable square-headed mad scientist known as Dr. Cube. In addition to the Kaiju Commissioner, a few other privileged humans get a piece of the action, including Referee Jingi, a mustachioed official who enforces fairness and civility in the ring, Anthony Salbino, an urban renewal expert who reconstructs crumpled cityscapes in between battles, and one tuxedo-wearing, mouth-running MC. Tickets are at onesummerville.com. 40 of Boston's best women founders and makers are at the Boston Women's Holiday Market on Saturday, November 17th from 11 to 4 at Warehouse 11, Newton Square. Shop jewelry, home goods, art, and more at this opportunity to support your community of local women makers and founders. From candle and jewelry makers to woodworkers and bakers, the perfect holiday gift awaits at the Boston Women's Holiday Market. In addition, there will be a mold cider making kit station, a holiday Instagram wall, and live music. You should visit bostonwomensmarket.com for details. The Weird Local Film Festival is a buy and try monthly ish event featuring films by filmmakers who live within a reasonable proximity to Somerville. Before each event, judges sort through all the submissions for a tight program of WLFF quality films, whatever that means, from nightmare newscasts to avant-garde love poems, WLFF celebrates the eclectic creations of its community. In this special screening, the WLFF team has combed through films from the past events to curate a best of program that they hope will exemplify the strange and surprising qualities that they claim to champion. Were they successful? There's only one way to find out as you attend Dispatches from the Underground as they present the Best of Weird Local Film Festival on Wednesday, November 20th at 7.30 p.m. at the Somerville Theater. Event details and ticket links are at the Facebook event page. The Joy Street and Brick Bottom Open Studios are happening November 23rd and 24th at 86 Joy Street and 1 Fitchburg Street. Artists at both locations will open up their studios to the public, showing and selling work in a wide variety of media and formats. A number of artists in both buildings will demo their methods and working techniques throughout the weekend. These open studios events offer great opportunities to talk with real working artists and to start or grow an art collection. There are works of all kinds that will be for sale in, and in every price range. It's free to visit. You should go to joystreetartist.org or brickbottom.org for more information. Etsy makers of Boston will be at Bow Market on Saturday, November 30th from 9 to 5. Shop small and shop local for Small Business Saturday on Saturday, November 30th and enjoy an awesome day of shopping, holiday festivities, delicious food, fun, and more. At this one-day event, you will find more than 50 local makers, artists, and small businesses offering handmade artisan goods, locally made products, art, home decor, and gifts, and more information about this is at the Facebook event page. 
One of the goals of the Arlington International Film Festival, according to their website, is to highlight core values and aspirations that we all share in common with our culturally diverse neighbors and with all the members of the global human family. This year's festival takes place November 7th through the 10th at the Capitol Theater in Arlington. Their open and night films aim to celebrate the best of humanity with Academy Award nominee, Lifeboat, a documentary short about the volunteers from Sea Watch, a German nonprofit whose members risk the waves of the Mediterranean to pluck refugees from sinking rafts that have left from Libya in the middle of the night. And Path of the Dafts, about a new tradition of imported Dutch master daffodil bulbs that have been planted along the Boston Marathon route each year since the 2013 marathon bombings. Find a full schedule of events and get your tickets at AIFFFest.org. Our community partner, Women in Film and Video New England, present the New England premiere screening of The Luring at 7 p.m. on November 7th at the Somerville Theater. Co-presented with the 45th Boston Science Fiction Film Festival, The Luring is a psychological thriller filmed over 22 days about a man who tries to recover a lost memory by returning to his family's Vermont vacation home, where an unspeakable act took place. After the screening, a panel follows with writer-director Christopher Wells and director of photography Amanda McGrady, a Women in Film and Video New England member, plus other cast and crew. Tickets and more information can be found at womeninfilmvideo.org.